In this video, I will show you awesome ways how to improve your computer speed and performance. First, delete temporary files. If your system drive or C drive is more than 90% full, your computer slows down or becomes extremely slow. Go to search, type storage. Click on storage settings. Wait for it to scan the disk usage. You can see my C drive details. I have 94 GB used and 5 GB free space. You can see that the temporary files occupied most of my disk space. Double click on it. From here you can see the different categories and their file size. Let's first check the downloads. This is the downloads folder where all the downloads has been stored. You can open the folder to verify the files. Now, you can check the download if you no longer need these files. Take note that if you select the downloads then all of the files in that folder will be deleted. Next is the previous Windows installation. In my case, this was my previous operating system which is the Windows 10 since I upgraded to Windows 11. We can verify this folder by opening the system disk or the C drive. You can see the windows.old. If you don't have any plans restoring back your old operating system then check the box to permanently delete it. Next is the recycle bin. You need to empty your recycle bin regularly. Next is the windows upgrade log files. These are the files for Windows Update that has been saved and saved to delete. Make sure the rest of the box are checked. Before we delete this files we will check the C drive status. Now, scroll up and go to the top of the page. Once ready, click on remove files. A window will pop up, it will tell you that the files and their data will be permanently deleted. It will also show a warning that it will include the downloads folder since we checked the option. Click continue to proceed. It will now start to remove the selected files. This will only take few seconds or a minute to complete the process. Keep your eye on the C drive to see the difference. Notice that the C drive has been freed up for about 50 gigabytes. Second, prevent unnecessary programs from starting. A lot of unnecessary programs automatically runs every time you start your computer, they keeps on running consuming RAM and processor usage even though they're not in use. Go to search, type startup. Select startup apps. Here you can see all startup application. Turn off all the unnecessary programs you don't need on startup. This will decrease your RAM and processor usage and it will boost your computer startup process. Next is change your power settings to high performance. Your computer will focus on maximizing its speed and performance. However, this will consume more energy. Go to your taskbar right side look for the battery icon. Right click on it then choose power options. We only have one options available which is balanced, this will balance the performance and energy. To add high performance, click on create a power plan. Select high performance. This focus on performance but may use more energy. Give a profile name, we will name it high performance to make it simple. Once done click next. You can modify these settings based on your preference, in my case I prefer my computer to go sleep after 30 minutes of inactivity. Click create to apply the changes. You can now see that high performance has been applied. Next is the windows update. You need to check regularly to fix bugs and also bring new features, and to ensure your computer is secure. Go to search. Type Windows. Choose check for updates. It says here that my computer is up to date. 
Click on check for updates. It will check for new updates then download and install them automatically. Next is you need to scan for viruses and malware. Malware in action can consume a substantial amount of your computer's memory, leaving limited resources for other legitimate programs to use. This can lead to extremely sluggish performance of vital programs, like your internet browser or operating system and a slows PC overall. Go to search, type Windows Security. Select the Windows Security app. Click Virus and Threat Protection. Go to Scan Options. Choose Full Scan. Scroll down and click Scan Now. This will check all files and running programs on your hard disk. The scan takes time depends on the file size and programs. You can see the estimated time remaining and also the files scanned. We will close this window and it will continue the process. Next is change appearance in performance options. This will speed up your computer especially the old one or low specs computers. However, you will lose all of the visual effects. Go to search. Type adjust appearance. Select adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Notice that mostly visual effects are enabled. If we choose to adjust for best performance then all the visual effects will be disabled. Notice all the boxes had been unchecked. Click apply to save the changes. Next is the disk defragmentation. Defragmenting your computer helps organize the data in your hard drive and can improve its performance tremendously, especially in terms of speed. If your computer is running slower than usual, it might be due for a defrag. Note that if your main disk is an SSD, then you needn't bother with defragging, since there aren't any moving parts reading the disk. Go to search, type defrag. Choose Defragment and Optimize Drives. Select the drive you want to defrag. You can see I'm using solid state drive but I will still show you how to defrag your drives. The status says needs optimization. Click on Optimize. Now the current status is OK. Again, you don't need to do this if you are using solid state drive or SSD. Lastly. You need to update your device drivers. This is crucial. If your device drivers is not installed or not up to date then definitely you will encounter bunch of issues. You will encounter blue screen of death or your computer freezes and extremely slow. You can check it by opening your device manager. Notice these icons with exclamations. These are some of the things that we need to install or update the drivers. Open a web browser. Search for driver booster, or you can directly go to iobit.com and select Windows Updater. We will choose free download. Free trial is very limited. Click free download. Click on free download again. Wait for it to download the setup file. Let's now check the downloaded file. The file name is Driver Booster Setup. Double click on it to install. Preparing for Driver Booster installation. Click on install to proceed. I don't want to install Opera so I will check no thanks, click next. It will now install the application. Driver Booster is a convenient driver updater for you. It can help detect and update outdated drivers efficiently. Plus, the scanning speed of this driver updater has been improved by almost 100%, which saves you more time to acquire your driver status. If you still need more convenience, you can activate the auto driver update to get the latest updates in real time. You can subscribe if you want. In my case, I will choose no thanks. Installation completed. Simply click on scan now to detect and update outdated drivers. You can see the driver's status are outdated. After scan, in my case it shows us that we have 15 outdated device drivers.
click on update now. It will now download and install the outdated drivers. It's very convenient right? We don't need to search for the device drivers and install them one by one. This will takes time so just wait for it to finish the process. I will fast forward the video. Brilliant. Driver Booster has updated all updatable drivers for you. You can see that 15 drivers have been updated. Reboot now to take effect. Simply click on reboot and your device will be rebooted automatically. After reboot, let's check the Windows device drivers for verification. Go to search and enter device manager again. You can verify that all the drivers have been updated. You won't see any exclamations. You can check my other videos for Windows 11 tips and tricks or you can check it from the link description below. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.